I want to do bad things for you. Oh, you scared me. Don't do that. <laughs> what if I told you about sneaking up on daddy? <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm making things. I'm cooking. What am I, what am I cooking for? Oh, um, well, it's, it's, uh, Halloween. I'm, I'm making treats. I've been hoping to make them forever. Um, and I thought this would be the perfect time. Well, yeah, um, you're here. Uh. And I've been hoping to make candy for kids. Well, you know, it's... I run the clinic, and it has to be open every night, so holidays kind of get turned into a big mess, and I can't get through a Halloween without some kid tripping or falling, or somebody uh, eating too much candy and getting sick, or some concerned mother needs me to look at... Little Billy, because they most likely have broken their leg when I totally haven't broken their leg. It's, um... It's been a long time since I've had an opportunity to just have some fun. and Now you're here, and I can do that. Well, because I thought that maybe you'd like to give them out. You don't... You don't celebrate Halloween... Why not? Well, I mean, there's the obvious reasons if it was a full moon, but um, I figured that maybe you'd appreciate it. You know, you get to cut loose. You don't have to worry about finding costumes. <laughs> no, I... I ever since I've moved down here I and started a clinic I, I've, I've been wanting to be normal it's easy when you're you know still with your sire but you're kind of treated a little bit like a child and that's not a bad thing in a way because there's still a lot to learn but there's things that I wanted to do when I ventured out here, and I don't always get to do them. Why didn't I just let the... I always send the nurses home. Because they're both parents, you know? I... They've got to take care of their own homes and take care of their own kids. But here, I... Here, well, no, 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 don't, not that one. Not that one. Don't, don't have that, that one. Because there's treats, and then there's tricks. Yeah. Well, that popcorn ball, um, in the middle of it, there's a, there's a Brussels sprout. Yeah. <laughs> and, and these, these candy apples, um, they have, uh, capsaicin extract in the, in the candy. Yeah, and 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 these pieces of candy corn, they they taste like spinach. <laughs> what do you mean, tricks and treats? Come on. Well, I'm warning you about them now. You thankfully didn't just get a mouthful of Brussels sprout. Um. <laughs> Well, sometimes I like to be impish, you know. I, I I don't always have to be the nice doctor all the time, and I figure if this is as far as I go, it's it's gonna be okay, you know. Well, that and sometimes we get the older kids that. Okay, look. So again, most Halloween 
nights. Um, I have this big bowl of treats, and I leave it out on the counter when I have a client or a patient or whatever to talk to. And then there's older kids that come in, and they just dump the whole bowl in their bag and be done with it. So then I'm out, you know, a hundred some dollars worth of candy. Well, yeah, a hundred dollars. Well, I have, I used to give out king size candy bars. Yeah, I like Halloween, and I like making people happy, and <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a happier face than a five year old with a king size Kit Kat bar. Yeah, maybe some angry parents. Of course, it's bad for you. I'm a doctor, not a dentist. A stomach ache is, is easy to take care of. <laughs> Come here. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe later I could be your treat. <laughs> you silly mutt. <laughs> Maybe. But I figured this year you could stay with me and we could hand out candy and if there is a mishap I'll take care of it and you've got it under control. Well, if they look old or they seem like they're playing a trick on you, you just give them one of these and uh, they'll regret it. Ooh, not, no, not that one. Those, those are the, those are the gummy worms. Ha, <laughs> those, there's a lot of, uh, uh, sour in those gummy worms. Um, they'll be, they'll be puckering up for an hour at least. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, those are the super hot candy apples. And these are the popcorn balls with the Brussels sprouts in them. And these are the ones that don't have it. I know they look the same. That's why I put them in different places. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I, I, these are all from my, uh, recipe book. Well, it's not my recipe book. It's my, um, grandmother's recipe book when I was, uh, when I was human. Oh, I, I don't. I don't pull this out for any reason other than tonight. And I certainly wouldn't have shown you otherwise. I know, it's like a piece of history. Please, please be careful. I, I, no, I'm not saying that because you're... Because I think you're you're clumsy. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it because it's... It's like 200 years old. It's, it needs a lot of gentle touches. Kind of like you. Well, yeah. Most things in this world get treated too harshly. You, especially. So, so, best doctor's advice I can give you is that you just let me touch you gently. See? <laughs> Come on. Don't be silly. Why? What, what did you have in mind? No, we cannot go to the party. I have to be here at the clinic. Why would you want to go to the party? The town, the town party has a costume contest. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Oh, uh, maybe next year. Well, next year we can have proper costumes. Yes, proper costumes. If we start now, then we could legitimately win the contest. Why? What was the prize? A TV? I have a TV. Oh, you want a TV in your room. <laughs> All right. You know, I could just buy us a TV, right? Or <laughs> if you want anything from me, you want to, to drive... No. 
No. That Roadrunner is mine. It, I, I earned it. And I've seen the way you drive. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Go on. Let me finish up here. Well, I've got to get cleaned up, too. I'm covered in sugar. How am I going to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't... I'm sure you're very persistent. We'll have to see. <laughs>